The story of the carrot, the egg, and the coffee is a good lesson for all of us, no matter what stage of life you're in. A young woman went to her grandmother and told her about her life and how things were so hard for her. She had just begun a new job and it was much more challenging than she expected. She didn't know how she was going to make it and wanted to give up. She was tired of fighting and struggling. It seemed as soon as one problem was solved, a new one arose. Her grandmother took her to the kitchen. She filled three pots with water and placed each on a high fire. Soon the pots came to boil. In the first, she placed carrots. In the second, she placed eggs. And in the last, she placed ground coffee beans. She then let them sit and boil without saying a word. In about 20 minutes, she turned off the burners. She fished the carrots out and placed them in a bowl. She pulled the eggs out and placed them in a bowl. Then she ladled the coffee out and placed it in a bowl. Turning to her granddaughter, she asked, Tell me what you see. Carrots, eggs, and coffee, she replied. Her grandmother brought her closer and asked her to feel the carrots. She did, and noted that they were soft. The grandmother then asked the granddaughter to take an egg and break it. After pulling off the shell, she observed the hard-boiled egg. Finally, the grandmother asked the granddaughter to sip the coffee. The granddaughter smiled as she tasted its rich aroma. The granddaughter then asked, What does it mean, grandmother? Her grandmother explained that each of these objects had faced the same adversity, boiling water. Each reacted in different ways. The carrot went in strong, hard, and unrelenting. However, after being subjected to the boiling water, it softened and became weak. The egg had been fragile. Its thin outer shell had protected its liquid interior. But after sitting through the boiling water, its insides became hardened. The coffee beans were unique, however. After they were in the boiling water, they had changed the water. This made the granddaughter think, and grandma had a question. Which are you, she asked her granddaughter. When adversity knocks on your door, how do you respond? Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? Think of it like this. Which am I? Am I the carrot that seems strong, but with pain and adversity, do I wilt and become soft and lose all of my strength? Am I the egg that starts with a malleable heart, but changes with the heat? That I have a fluid spirit, but after a death, a breakup, a financial hardship, or some other trial, have I become hardened and stiff? Does my shell look the same, but on the inside I am bitter and tough with a stiff spirit and hardened heart? Or am I like the coffee bean? The bean actually changes the hot water, the very circumstance that brings the pain. When the water gets hot, it releases the fragrance and flavor. If you are like the bean, when things are at their worst, you get better and change the situation around you. When the hour is the darkest and trials are their greatest, do you elevate yourself to another level? How do you handle adversity? Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? The happiest people don't necessarily have the best of everything. They just make the most of everything that comes along their way. 
when you were born, you were crying, and everyone else around you was smiling. Live your life so at the end, you are the one who is smiling, and everyone else around you is crying. May we all be the coffee. This has been a Kaizen Teaching Production. You can find this video and many more on my YouTube page. Have a great day!